My name is Diane Brenneman. I'm a retired magistrate judge from the Superior Court of the District of Columbia. I'm also a member of the Council for Court Excellence. I first became acquainted with a CCE oh, in the mid 80s. And I was a lawyer at the time and the supervising uh, fellow for the Family Law Clinic at Antioch School of Law, which later became the University of the District of Columbia, David A. Clark School of Law. At the time, I uh, was told to give Sam Harahan a call about uh, my project that I was doing, where I was creating forms and uh, fill in the blanks for people who wanted to do their own legal work. And uh, this was in for simple divorces, so to speak. And um, I needed to have a way to have the language level of difficulty checked for a variety of sides, including um, plain, readable, straight English makes sense, as well as no legalese. So that, of course, is always the big problem. But we came through that fine, and those forms went on to uh, further life in DC Bar Pro Bono Project. And after that, uh, as the startup for the first self-help center at Superior Court. So that was a very exciting first, first time meeting kind of project. Um, it wasn't until sometime later in April 2013 that I was asked uh, by CCE to serve as chair following Arabella Teal on the, what do we call it? The School Discipline Project Committee. And that went on for another two years uh, with me as chair. And why was CCE doing anything with school discipline? Well, CCE has had a long history of focusing on children in the court and their involvement in the child welfare system. And at that time um, in the country, there was a big uh, discussion going on and analysis being made and studies being done about uh, this uh, school to prison pipeline and how students were dropping out of school or being expelled from school and then never getting back on track with school and ending up in either the juvenile justice system or the adult uh, criminal system. So CCA uh, became concerned that that might be happening in the District of Columbia and wanted to uh, determine what exactly was going on with school discipline systems and so on. So uh, we saw a need as we started to explore to comprehensively describe and assess these complex systems of discipline that were there because um, we had to assess 62 charter schools, in addition to regular DC public schools, but 62 charter schools, and some of them didn't have a conduct of conduct code or disciplinary code. Um, and all of them pretty much were different from each other. So we really uh, had our work cut out for us in putting that all together. Uh, in addition, um, the students who are going through the DC public school system, if they uh, are notified that they are being disciplined in a way that would separate them from school, uh, they're entitled to a hearing. 92% of them were not represented by counsel at, at these hearings. That they were administrative law hearings and uh, they were not represented by counsel. So clearly there was a problem. And ultimately our paper was entitled Equity in School Discipline Report. And it is a thorough description of problems with the student discipline policies and system and a compilation of resources for uh, both federal and local for uh, the schools, the parents and the students uh, so that they can access that information and perhaps um, have a better understanding of the process that they're entitled to and the process that they're going through. Uh, so now, today, I still support CCE and its work, and that's almost for 40 years. So thank you.